Hey guys, happy anniversary, everyone! Yay! Yay. So 10 years ago to this day, Draw With Jazza as a channel was made. The first what were you doing? What's today? 28th of March? What were you doing on the 28th of March? Not going back to school? I was uh, uh. alone in my little house in the <laughs> mall, and I was like, oh, I, I need something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do something because everything else is working. <laughs> this probably is fair mail. Oh my goodness. It's, is that? It's Van Jazza. That's so cute. Sent you a portrait started. of yourself as a thank you for inspiring me to paint. Oh, that's awesome. If you think it is good, then I am 17. If not, then I'm 13. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jameson. And thank you for joining us in our content planning meeting. So, I have freed up Billy's time today mm. and tomorrow to work on the battle report finally. And then other than that, we've got a half-edited modular tiles, which a day and a half will do. Yeah, and we just need the voiceover on Tuesday from um, Jen and Murray. Yep. All right, well, I'm going to put Jen's base video back here on the 12. Showtime, Gareth. We're filming our, our meeting. Oh. So we're bringing the fly on the wall. Oh, there it is. is <laughs> I got a fun one for you. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Because Caroline couldn't be in here today, she was going to edit this vlog, and you were going to edit a main channel video. Mm. Can you edit both, and I'll keep it really simple for you? <laughs> both. Are they coming out today? Yeah. Oh, what? You. This is a Monday. <laughs> It'll be fine. I reckon this one you'll have a rough cut by lunch break, and I'll keep it really simple. It's even very simple. Go, 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 go. Goodness <laughs> gracious. Okay, content meetings are done. This is actually almost the six year anniversary of the vlog. So I want to spend this vlog on something a little bit different. Some of you might remember, this is the illustrations uh, that I drew envisioning my future studio that I actually drew when I was about 13 years old. Jazza Studios. This was the building with all the rooms, different offices and all this stuff. And all these years later, here we are in an actual building studio with people making awesome stuff. When I drew that illustration, I didn't know what I would be making. I knew it would be creative. I assumed it might be animation at the time because I was getting into stick figure animation quite heavily. But I also didn't really understand how much impact it would have on my life that that building would be filled with people what it would be like managing and working with people to, who, who have all taken on board my vision and brought it all to life with me. And that is the coolest part. And now that I come here every day, now that I've been on this 10 year journey, everyone who has been on that journey has made such a huge difference and has in some way made an impact on my creative journey and in our community. So I actually wanted to make this vlog as a thank you to everyone who's been a part of that journey. And now the first person of course is Kate, my wife, but I'll save her till the end. Suffice it to say, of course though, that Everyone on the journey has had a huge impact, but none more than Kate, who has believed in me when I'm going to be honest, didn't look like there was a lot going for me at the time when we met, but she did. And she stuck by me through thick and thin and helped me at every stage and has made all of this possible. We'll come back to Kate in a moment, but let's get started. In the journey, it really was for a long time, me by myself in a room talking to a camera like a crazy person trying to make something work. It was after these first few years of traction that things started to shift a little bit and I was able to get more help on board. One of the first editors I had was Rob. So Rob's been present peripherally for quite a while, but never in the team up until very recently, only a year and a half ago, and came on board. Then eventually the time came that I actually need editing help, especially to increase the scope of the work on the channel. That is where I first started outsourcing editing work. I started getting some freelance work from an editor called Billy. First video she edited for me was my blackboard art challenge. She has been the tabletop time hero ever since it's come back. She's edited 99% of tabletop time videos. And as of a week or two ago, has actually moved into state and now works here at the studio. And way back then, I also started to realize getting some in-person help was pretty crucial, which is why I put the feelers out and eventually found someone by the name of Lee. So Lee did help out with a bunch of editing work here and there and also some on-camera help. Lee was a really positive presence, really fun to have a part of those productions. Mikey was also present around that time. Mikey, another person who just brings a lot of positivity wherever he goes, really fun presence. And then of course, PJ. 
PJ was a big transformation in terms of the whole production cycle, having someone on site as a camera person and as an editor full time. Rachel was also someone behind the scenes who helped quite a lot and she was just a much loved member of the team. So then fast forward to the big move. This was the first official major move, but it was at this new location. We had more people on board to make more happen. Gareth, who had just come on board as a full-time editor and production assistant and videographer. Dusk, who was our personal and executive assistant and Georgia, who was also a production assistant. We got so much accomplished. The biggest one that stands out to me was the Cybertruck video. I wouldn't have even been able to scratch the surface without the team, especially having Gareth stay till three in the morning plastering tin foil on the side of a cardboard cyber truck with me. I know I bite off more than I can chew. The challenge is when I bite off more than other people can chew, I take it as no small thing that they are willing to just take a deep breath and chew it including the, this vlog, which you saw Gareth do today. I'll throw too much at him, not too often, but sometimes, and he'll take a deep breath. <sighs> okay, yeah. I have a little joke at my expense. Oh. All right, go team. Goodness <laughs> gracious. And then just get to work and make awesome stuff happen. And Gareth, I'm really grateful for that. Then we expanded a bit more, and many of you will remember, of course, Jeremy. Jeremy was with us for about a year and a half, and just like everyone else who joined the team, leaped into it with a really positive attitude. Really came out of a shell and became a beloved character in the vlog and, of course, among the team. And then, of course, it wasn't too long after this that the glutton of punishment that is me decided to bring back tabletop time. I called Rob because he had been part of the old version of tabletop time, and I asked if he was interested in jumping on board, and he immediately, without any hesitation, said, doesn't matter where you do it or what you're doing, I am there. And then on top of that, Dave and Jen, uh, a couple who run my local hobby shop, jumped on board on a volunteer basis to do a video a week, starting off with role play. Now Dave works here full time, helps me coordinate tabletop time. Jen works here every week. Jen, Dave, Rob, and myself still get to role play and stream every week. And it was around that time that I was able to offer Rob a job who now works here as a full-time production assistant. As far as our productions goes, he helps plan a lot of the videos, materials, and of course my schedule and a lot of other stuff. And then of course we came here to Jazza Studios, the big official building that I dreamed of since I was 13 years old. We have some new faces as well. Alicia works here three days a week. Murray, of course, is a face on Tabletop Time who also joins in some main channel videos as well and assists us with the property management and looking after the place and keeping things organized. And Amy, the head of our props and costume department and another assistant. Caroline is also the newest member of our team, the vlog, coming back into full swing and joining us on this journey. And I'm so excited that the vlog is in her hands as we move forward and she can help document and show off this amazing journey. And beyond everyone that I've mentioned, there are a couple of people who would prefer to remain private, so I won't mention them by name. But one person who I told you I'd come back to who needs the extra big special thank you and shout out is my wife, Kate. We continue to take on far too much and sometimes more than we can handle, but we do it together. And from the very beginning, when not a lot of people believed or understood what I was doing. Kate did without any judgment or hesitation. When we started dating and with a completely justified question, her dad wanted to know if I had a job, <laughs> which the answer was technically no. But even back then, she defended what I was doing. She was proud of what I was working towards. Even at times when it wasn't super clear, this would not be possible without Kate. My ability that I've learned over the last few years to, to focus, that really comes from Kate. She's helped me understand how to run a business. I have the creative explosion brain, but when it comes to the real world, my brain ain't so good. Kate is the real world brain behind the whole operation. And I'm so grateful for every ounce of belief she's ever had in me and every adventure we've gone on so far, every project that we've thrown ourselves into and works with me every day to walk that delicate balance of following dreams but facing reality and it can be hard sometimes but I am so grateful in the partner I have in Kate a life partner a business partner though this year is our eighth wedding anniversary we only dated for a year before that so technically nine of the ten years were years that she was with me on this journey I have no doubt that it is because she joined me on that journey that the ten years have been what they have become so thank you Kate and last but not least you Thank you so much for joining me. It's been almost six years in the vlog now. The first year I vlogged every day. And that was a that was not good for my, my, my mental health. <laughs> and you have been with me on the journey through burnouts and ups and downs, through the birth of my two children.
Actually, I didn't vlog the first one, I vlogged the second one. Through the birth of my second child. <laughs> and the vlog channel has just been a really wonderful way for me to have a direct connection with you. And I'm so grateful it, it's gotten to remain that. And I'm so excited for what the future holds. I'm gonna forego the question of the day for this video because it's a special occasion. I'm gonna ask you a question. How long have you been with me on this journey? And what stands out to you as the time you first remember opting in, joining us here, whether it be at the vlog or the main channel, when did you think, all right, I'll come along for the ride and maybe add in there what your most memorable point of our adventure has been. I'd love to read those comments. Thanks so much for joining me. See you guys.